Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome again. Boys, hope all of you are fine and doing good and you are preparing and revising the lectures which all of us teachers are delivering to you. Teachers are doing well, teachers are very doing efforts for you. So we hope so you are also doing good and you are also revising the teacher and the, uh, you are also revising the subjects which you have assigned in the class nine course. Yesterday we have, yesterday we, were, we start chapter number four and we have revised two questions. Today we will, uh, to, uh, yesterday we revised the three question. Today we will again revise the next questions so as you know that same based online class for class 9 student subject computer science this is lecture 2 zoom teacher as you know that Imran Ahmed and must think you join me with the live question answer on Sunday and Monday at 1.35 p.m. to 1.45 p.m. And Zoom meeting ID, this is most important and essential for every Zoom user to join me. I'm repeating the ID number 332629-9208. Now comes to the topic which we have discussed. First of all, I will revise the previous one which we discussed yesterday. <clears throat> and it was differentiate between analog signals and digital signals. So anything in the continuous form is analog signal and these are called the discrete signal is called digital signal. Second question was why digital signals are used in computer systems. So answer was computer understand only two symbols. So this is called the digital Digit, uh, digit numbers or computer system are used. Next question, name the properties of a good communication system. Yesterday we revised the delivery, accuracy and timelines for the properties of a good communication system. Next question. Now today our lecture is, I am repeating the lecture, I am delivering the lecture of question number four. Chapter four, question four, short question four. Give any three reason why guided communication medium is more reliable than unguided medium. Now here, the two things are going to be discussed. First is called guided media and another one is called the unguided media. What is guided media? anything Phys guided media is also called the physical media guided media is also called the physical media and unguided media is called wireless or not logical media for example guided media when the cables are involved cables or let's say this one is the cable and the, when the cable is involved between the two devices communication is called guided media when the cable is involved between the two devices let's say in computer network one computer is connected with the another with the help of cable this is called the guided media and unguided media when you are using the wi-fi when you are using the wi-fi there is no physical connection between the two devices but the logical connection exists is called the unguided media. So what is the guided media and what is the unguided media? <coughs> guided media is when there is physical connection, when the cables are involved between the two types of devices, then this is called the guided media and unguided media means when there is no physical connection is involved only logical connection is involved is called the unguided media now here the question is this give any three reason why 
guided communication medium is more reliable than unguided media means cable media is better than wireless media so answer they are asking for the three differences guided media is used for short distance while unguided media is mostly used for the long distance guided media let's say in a computer lab i want to create a network so it is better i will use the proper wires instead of the wireless this is the one reason second guided media is easily to implement while unguided media is difficult to implement let's say i have the cable i just want to connect the one cable to the another computer so this is very easy task to implement the computer network third guided media is cheap for communication while unguided media is costly now you you are confusing that wifi is a simple way for communication but check it satellite communication satellite communication is long distance let's say you are setting your dish antenna at the top of the floor and the dish antenna setting at just at the angles of the satellite so why the satellite distance between the satellite and your dish antenna is very very long it is thousands of kilometer away from the near home from your dish antenna so i am communicating for that long distance not a wifi long distance so that way we are discussing anyway another things are also present over here if why i am talking about the guided media is more reliable than unguided media because if there is any weather forecasting is like there is heavy rain and you are watching at your television there are stars stars are blinking at your television why because unguided media, media there when the satellite and the dish antenna there will be a gap so the rain drops are coming and it will disturb your network so that's why unguided media is not reliable than guided media i am repeating i give any three reason why guided communication medium is more reliable than a guided media is used for the short distance while unguided media is mostly used for the long distance means long distance unguided media satellite to your dish antenna guided media is easily to implement while unguided media is difficult to implement so if i want to place a satellite so it is very difficult for me so placing a satellite in the air guided media is cheap for communication while unguided guided media is costly so these are the three reason guided media is reliable than unguided media <coughs> next question what is meant by transmission impairment transmission impairment the errors that occurs during data communication from one point to another are called transmission impairment so transmission impairment means let's say you are communicating or you are chatting with your fellows at the same time you are loss of signals so half of the signals is delivered and half is remaining so this is called the transmission impairment let's say isp is down isp means internet service provider your connection is very good but isp internet service provider is down so it when you purchase the connection very high speed but they are giving you very low speed interconnection uh, internet connection so this is may be cause of transmission impairment any change the errors that occurs during the data communication from one point to another are called transmission impairment you send hi and another person receive the h so this is called what transmission impairment the types 
of impairments in communication media are so there are three types of first is called attenuation amplification distortion and cross talk so we will discuss this type of impairment later in the long long question attenuation amplification distortion and cross talk these are the four types of impairment impairment exist in data communication next question is next question is differentiate between attenuation and distortion so i want to discuss over here what is attenuation and what is distortion differentiate between attenuation and distortion attenuation fall of signal strength with the distance as signals travel into travels through the communication media let's say you are sitting at your room at your home and you are communicating in the usa or pakistan there is much more distance between the two these two countries so it could be possible your signals fall occur so this is called the attenuation is a fall of signal strength with the distance as signal travel through the communication let's say you are another example you are sitting at your room and your router is present or modem is present at the top floor so you are searching the signals where the searching where the signals are proper coming is this yes obviously all wanted the proper signal but when you are going the, to the no distance create the distance from the router or modem your signal strength going to the down so this is called the attenuation the fall of signal strength with the distance as signal travel through the communication media so communication your modem is present at the top floor and you are searching you are sitting at your room so that there it could be possible that the signal strength will be weaker yes if you are leaving your room and going the outside it completely lost your signals and it completely lost the disconnection so this is called the attenuation attenuation is the fall of signal strength with the distance as signals travel through the communication media so this is was the attenuation now what is distortion <clears throat> distortion refers change in shape or frequency of digital signal when it transmitted over a communication line so this is called the distortion sometime you will have the better signal quality and sometime you have the lower signal quality so this is called the distortion <coughs> or you can say that distortion is like this you have the same quality signals quality you have the full signal strength at your mobile but sometime it going running very fast your net is running very fast but and sometime it is running slowly so this is called the distortion so what is mean refers to change in shape or frequency change in shape or frequency of a digital signals digital signals frequency for example first one is uh, zeros it's uh, high frequencies like this 111111 but so its frequency can be changed first one one then zero one zero one or two so on so this is called the distortion next question for distortion next question for impairment types of impairment in we have studied attenuation and distortion next is cross talk what is cross talk next question in your book is what is cross talk very interesting topic a cross talk occur in guided media it means that it occur in guided media means when there is cable involved between two devices so then this can be occur cross talk can be occur as signal is transmitted through a wire because when you are communicating when you have the connection with one computer with another through the wire 
so a cable is involved a signal is transmitted a wire undesired signals enter the path so it could be possible let's say this cable i place this cable with the cable of light so electromagnetic waves can affect this the quality of this wire electromagnetic waves can affect the quality of this wire so this is called the desired signals enter the path sometime user can hear another conversation in the background sometime user at the background when you are coming in the early days when there is phone there was no mobile you are communicating with the phone telephone system instead of you are calling your fellows or you are you are on the line and you are talking you will at the same time you are talking to the your fellow your father your brother your mother whatever at the same time you can receive another person which you don't know he is talking and this is called the cross talk it means that you are talking and another line will join your line this is called cross talk so unwanted desired signal so these were the, the another person who was discussing who was talking between your communication is called undesired enter your path sometime user can hear another conversation in the background when talking on the phone this happens by the coupling between two wires so it could be possible where the dp dp is the telephone uh, uh, who provide the watch here at the outside of your home there could be a place where they get the, all the where you get the connection from that so stc provide the connection from you from there so it could be possible sometime it will be close to each other and your distortion can be possible or cross talk can be possible this happens by the coupling between two wires that are close to each other that are close to each other i think today this one is enough for we have study about the next four question inshallah tomorrow we will complete the short question answer then we will discuss the long question answer i hope all of you will be okay and we stay home boys don't go anywhere so this is better for you and better for all okay take care allah hafiz